you can bring your cars out, park them all the way back here. How cool is this? Uh, we actually have... No way. I'm going to peek over. Yeah, have a peek. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Luxury Home Show. Today you're joining Jazz and I in Oxfordshire in Woodstock, which is a small little market town which actually borders Blenheim Palace. So you might know the area, but if you're not familiar, we're going to stick a map up on the screen so you can get your bearings and see where we are in the country. But the property that we're going to be showing you today is just behind me and it's listed for £2.8 million with Flowers Estate Agents and was developed by Lewis Property. Now the property benefits from a raised position and is actually nestled in this terrace of period townhouses, but they've used ashlar and cobble Cotswold stone so that it really fits in with the surrounding buildings. Although the new contemporary design of this building allows it to have that really strong and striking architectural profile from the front and back of the building. It's a very clever use of timber, render, stone and glass actually. It really gives it that cutting edge modern feel. We've also got a car lift to my right just here. We've got loads of concealed ambient lighting throughout the property. It looks super stunning. Over 4,000 square feet of interior space, five bedrooms, all of which are en suite, and we even have an annex self-contained at the back of the property behind Jazz. But I think we should head inside and just get going with this. Yeah, so let's go. Should we meet go. them at the front door? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're inside the property now. I'm gonna pop a quick floor pan up for you guys so you can get your bearings. The first room that we're gonna go into is this garage. Now, as we enter, you probably realize it's a really nice material palette, loads of different materials used and a great use of dark colors. But inside this garage, we have two spots for cars. We also have this car lift here. So you can actually take your cars up into the back garden and then you've got three or four spots out there for off street parking, which is just awesome. Very striking from the front of the property with this fold up slatted garage. Yeah. Matches the front door too, which is worth noting. We're gonna head down into this basement though. Below ground level, now this would be perfect space for another bedroom, even a study. Or a cinema room. Or a cinema room, <laughs> which is kind of how it's set up now. But yeah, I think a study would be awesome because we've actually got the ensuite in here. Yeah. So we have the uh, toilet, sink, and the shower. Really cool circular mirror in there too. I like it. It looks like it's glowing. Exactly. And great use of glass because we've got the windows that come from the very front of the property. Jazz, if you just sort of spin around, we'll see yeah. what I mean. So we have the front window and then it kind of brings the light through here as well. So yeah. Even though it's a nice, nice dark moody room, you do get some natural light, which is great. And we've also got the natural light from this sort of skylight, which is where the void is above us. We'll show you that in a bit more detail. But we're gonna head upstairs now and show you guys the kitchen. So we'll meet you there. This kitchen then has some of the coolest lighting I've seen inside a kitchen with all these streaks of ambient lighting in the corners, sort of concealed in these little recesses, looks amazing. And then the kitchen itself is kind of defined by this insane counter-levered kitchen island. Looks so cool, right? It does. It looks seamless as well. Yes, that's it. Then we've got this venting hob, so no need for an extractor fan, keeps it all seamless like Jazz is saying. And then, yeah, it's a really simplistic design. Those are sort of grey, grey colours. Yeah, loads of bespoke cabinetry as well. But masses of storage throughout here. And some great views out towards the front of the property too. Then coming through here, we have this dining space. It's actually worth noting that the owner of this um, property said that they made the table out of sort of like reworked bits of wood from other projects, which is yeah. awesome. Then we have these huge glass sliding doors that take you out onto the balcony. Do you want to <laughs> sort of poke your head around the corner? Yeah. Great view towards the back of the property and your annex. Below yeah. us right now is the car lift, pretty cool. We're gonna head on through, and I think now we should head round down into this sort of reception space. I'm gonna sit on the sofa because it's super comfy. Oh, nice. Yeah, pretty cool, right? You can see behind me, they've sort of used these almost doors to sort of hide the light behind, so it brings out some really cool ambience, but as you open them, it kind of gets brighter and brighter. Wow. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> it does look cool. The light's awesome as well. It looks like frog spawn that we saw in the Barbican house. Yes. You've seen that video? If you haven't, go check it out. Yeah, and then more storage in here as well. Loads of nice wood, double aspects. So we've got loads of natural lighting coming in through from the garden. Yeah, there's also a little powder room behind Tom too. Absolutely. Should we go through to the annex? Yes, let's. Yeah. If I back up, guys. Yeah. So as, you, as I said, there's sort of a double aspect window here, but you have sliding doors again to access the back garden. Jazz is now 
nicely avoiding the path. <laughs> I tried. So this is the car lift that I'm currently stood on. You can bring your cars out, park them all the way back here. We've got really high walls at both sides of the property, keeping it nice and private. A really clever use of black dye inside yeah. these ponds. Keeps yeah. it really nice and clean looking. Makes it look a lot deeper than it is as well. It's yeah, only exactly. like an inch or two deep. Yeah, for sure. And then we've got this sort of AstroTurf, easy to maintain, bamboo as well, which should give it nice, nice privacy once they flourish. So then we're gonna head inside of the annex. Jazz, if you follow me in. So the first thing is we've got this sort of kitchen space, we've got a hob in here as well. So it's real like self-contained living area. Yeah. We also have this hidden kitchen inside here. So we've got fridge, microwave oven, loads of storage. We've got a coffee machine in there. So cool. Pretty cool, right? And then we have a living area in here as well. We've actually got a projector that comes out of the ceiling. Mm. And you can pull the projector down here. Loads of storage here. We've even got an outside terrace space with loads and loads of seating. I can imagine this property being great for parties. Yeah, for sure. Should we peek our heads out? Yeah, there's loads of space, nice and decked. Right, then we've got sort of study area here so you can sit, look back at the property, which is cool. It's worth noting as well, as I said about the the parking towards the back of the property. Oh yeah. We actually have these slide open doors as well. And so if you were eagle-eyed, you may have noticed, but there's actually some sort of mesh metal trim on the, uh, on the pond yeah. so that you can drive your car from the car lift straight through and park it inside the annex. So if you've got a collector's car, yeah, or if you just want to so keep it dry, cool. <laughs> yeah, you can stick it in here. Yeah, we've got electric blinds all around as well, so that's good. Yep. And then one of the coolest things is yeah. this mezzanine bedroom up here. How cool is this? So you can sit above the whole of this annex space and uh, go to bed at night. It's pretty that cool, right? so cool. There's even a big skylight up here so you could watch the stars or the oh. sun set from the property, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's very well lit in here, isn't it? Yes. And there's a lot more like of a lighter color palette. And there's masses of glass in here too, which also helps. Again, we've got that insane trim of lighting that coming through. So That's cool, cool, isn't it? Yeah, massive shower space with a little Velux window skylight. And then we've got this double aspect window here, bringing in again, loads of natural light into this bathroom. Yeah, yeah. huge sink too. But now we're gonna head back into the property and Jazz is gonna show you guys the bedrooms. Should we meet him there? Yep. Yeah. Coming up onto the second floor then guys, the stairway really utilizes that awesome material palette and it goes really well with the lighting as well, casts some really cool shadows onto the wall. But yeah, here we are in the principal suite. Once again, we've got the really like dim lighting, but the huge windows and sliding doors where Tom is on the balcony is bringing so much natural lighting, casting some nice shadows. We've got the herringbone dark wooden flooring too. And Tom, aren't these like, it's like a... It's like a headboard slash bedside table. Yeah, that exactly. kind of goes all the way through. Yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, I like These it. photos as well, actually. Oh yeah, guys, so these are really cool. So in the annex, um, the owner used to have his 911 parked in there. Yeah. And he's got some photos and it looks really cool. Yeah. Doesn't it? <laughs> Tom, do you want to come into the ensuite? Because yes. there's something really cool in here. Yeah, it's a really cool feature in it. So we've got the basin mirror. We've got a strip here, which is actually bringing light in from the atrium right on the top, which is cool. And then, <laughs> this is so cool. So I get down. Oh, we actually have no a sunken bar, but to utilize the space, we've got these wooden panels there so you can still shower on top. Yeah, it's a really clever idea. And I'm liking the kind of matte Should gray. we check out the balcony? Yes. Wow, so bright. We've got the cover as well and the slats there to keep parts in the shade so it's not got the sun beaming in. But if we come on out, I'm gonna take you up to the third floor and show you the next set of bedrooms. Before we go in there, it's worth knowing we are now at the top of that kind of void section Tom mentioned. Now we've got this really cool atrium bringing so much light and a glass balustrade, allowing you to look all the way down to the lounge. That's cool, I'm gonna yeah. peek over. Yeah, have a peek. Wow. I know, right? So cool. It is cool. And then once again, we've got the curvatures on the wall, 
just giving it that really unique feel. Yeah, very modern. In the next bedroom, I'm gonna take you inside. We've got the wooden flooring again, as opposed to the resin downstairs, which was really nice. This bed looks like it's floating. Yeah, the light it? helps as well. The light it? behind it. Yeah. And yeah, we've got different like pictures to the roofs here. So it like it's dropped because we're on the lower side of the house. Yeah, for sure. And it's worth noting that here we have the ensuite with the sliding door. But like I just said about the pitch of the roof, we've got it above there. So it makes the room feel bigger because you've yeah, got that room. Yeah, a bit more room. open, a bit more airy. Exactly. And then we've got the ensuite in here. We yeah, have a little pier in. Little you pier. can see we've got the shower, sink and the toilet. Yeah, nice. The toilet's actually black in there as well. I know, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a James Bond toilet. Yes. <laughs> Look how huge these door heights are as well. Put like your hand up. Ceilings. So this room is very well lit as well. We've got a nice window bringing all the sun in. Love the hanging lights on the side of the bed. Make, it feels it's like an industrial feel, isn't it? Yeah. And then I'm going to peek my head into the bathroom. We have shower, sink, very large basin actually, isn't it? And yeah. toilet in the corner there. Once again, with all that light coming through. I love all the different like curvatures and the paths and like how cool and windy this is. Got the glass balustrades. It's really cool because if you look down, you can see all the way to the bottom. That's a long way down. Yeah. And then on the wall, we have like these little... Yeah, windows. Sort windows, of around. like teeny tiny ones. Yeah. Teeny tiny. <laughs> right, so time for the last bedroom. This one is humongous as well, isn't it? Absolutely. I like how low the beds are. It gives it that really snug, modern feel. Definitely. Yeah, we've got a lower ceiling height here, making this feel a lot cozy. We've got a window all the way down there. Can you see it? Yeah. So bringing light into every part of the room. Yeah, it's a really good use of glass. It is. And then there's something really cool in the ensuite. Come on, Tom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jazz has got something to show us, guys. <laughs> I like the um, towel warmers as well. Yeah. Look how big they are. I can see them in the mirror. <laughs> mirror, you say? Yeah. Oh. So cheesy. <laughs> it's a window. That is quite cool though. Yeah, so you can open it up, bringing more natural light from outside. Exactly, and then we've got a massive skylight above as well. So yeah, yeah so much light in here, even though it's got that dark color palette. So we hope you guys have enjoyed looking on the inside of this house. Make sure to comment down below your favorite room. I think mine might have to be the kitchen. But now we're gonna take you out into the local area and show you a bit of what's in your surroundings. Should we go? Let's do it. Can you now join us on Market Street, only a few minutes walk away from the property, and here we have an abundance of shops, cafes, pubs, restaurants, and all you can think of, really. As Tom mentioned before, we're right on the outskirts of the Blenheim Palace estate, and as a resident here, you benefit from a walking pass, so you really get to enjoy everything around here. Now we're in a great spot for commuters as we're right next to the M40 and there's a lot of great Oxford schools around. But yeah, we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment down below your favourite part, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.